would not remember Budapest very differently. What's going on, movie goers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to C-Roll Productions. You guys, we have some set photos of the Black Widow solo movie from Marvel Studios. Natasha Romanoff is back, and she is in Norway. Now, there were rumors stating that this film was supposed to be shooting the end of May going into June. So, obviously, it's going on. They're shooting this film right now, so production has started. <coughs> Excuse me. I am so pumped to see Black Widow get her own solo movie. Unfortunately, it had to come this late into her first MCU movie, which was Iron Man 2. What was that? 2010? 2011? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, she definitely deserved her movie way before this. Um, it's just, I know that there weren't doing th these movie studios weren't really trying to do a lot of superhero female lead roles and it wasn't until Wonder Woman that really made that push Wonder Woman now Captain Marvel now you have this Black Widow movie and then you have Birds of Prey next year so thank thank thankfully you know for Wonder Woman for really giving these movie studios the push to be like yo these female characters deserve their own movies as well <coughs> excuse me so I'm pretty pumped to see that and I can't wait to see Natasha come back. Because, you know, with her with her ending to Endgame, it was sad as hell. That entire scene of her and, you know, Clint. Oh, my God. That was just so sad. And the way she sacrificed herself. God, it was it was heartbreaking. Heartbreaking scene. But there's a lot of rumors going around with where this movie takes place. Obviously, I think it is a prequel. Like, the first rumor was... And keep this in mind, nothing has been confirmed by Disney or Marvel Studios about where this movie takes place. Nothing. There's rumors stating that this is supposed to take place before Iron Man 2. Now there's rumors stating that, take place, that this takes place after Civil War. Who knows? Like, what if this movie takes place within that five-year period, you know, of Endgame? We don't know. You get what I'm saying? Like, we don't know when this movie takes place. So I'm hoping, you know, a little, a little bit further down the months, you know, maybe end of June, we'll get a little bit more confirmation of, you know, more details evolving around this film. There was even a rumor going around saying that the Taskmaster Master was supposed to be the main antagonist of the film, which I am highly, highly excited for. And I love to see Black Widow go up against the Taskmaster. She's, you know, a professional fighter. She's a spy, you know, and her her hand-to-hand -hand combat is very good. And the Taskmaster, and what he's good at is mimicking everything that you do. All he has to do is look at you and he can mimic you and, you know, have your exact same fighting style. Craziness. I would love to see something like that. David Harbour is in this film. I can't wait to see him. He, you know, he needs, he definitely needs a redemption film after Hellboy because Hellboy was an absolute mess. Not saying that he was a terrible Hellboy. He was just given a terrible script and so many problems that were on production and it sucks. Um, there was even rumors going around that stating that he teased the thing, like David Harbour is supposed to be playing Ben Grimm in this Black Widow movie. Now, don't get me wrong. If that's true, I would lose my shit because I feel like David Harbour would be a fantastic Ben Grimm, the thing. And I would love to see how they get, you know, introduced into the MCU because this is huge. With all the rights that Marvel's, with all the rights of the character that Marvel now has, this is big. This is big stuff. So... I can't wait to see how they introduce the, you know, the Fantastic Four and all these characters, Reed Richards, Susan Storm, John, Johnny Storm, into the MCU. But that's just a huge rumor. I doubt that David Harbour is going to be playing Ben Grimm. Who knows? But, you know, I, I want to see a little bit more of her, her backstory. Um, obviously, you know, where she grew up, all the training and things like that. You know, we got a little bit, a little glimpse of it in Age of Ultron, and that was pretty much it. But... There's a lot of backstory to uh, to uh, dive into when we talk about Natasha Romanoff. And backstory, I feel like most people would be interested in seeing. Why not? It's fucking it's Black Widow. She's badass. When she first appeared in Iron Man 2, I lost my shit. You know, she was kicking everybody's ass. The long, curly, fucking red hair. Beautiful. But this is interesting, you guys. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about these set photos of Black Widow. Widow and has now officially begun production. And where do you think that this movie takes place in the MCU timeline? Post your comments down below, you guys, and thank you for taking time today for watching Sea World Productions. Peace.